Morocco, everybody. In Morocco. What's up? How y'all doing? All right. This is a cool crowd. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you leave the house and you don't know if people are going to be cool, you know? The other day I was at this house party. This guy was being super non-consensual with everyone. You guys ever hung out with a magician at all? <laughs> Ooh, he was good, too. He pulled out his cards and I disappeared. I was like, okay, uh, show me that again, but on you this time, right? <laughs> I'm in my 30s now, which is great. 30s, anybody? <laughs> the rest of us are dead. Uh, I'm in my 30s. I, 30s are fine, but I'm, I'm, I want to get older, man. I want to get that age, that sweet spot where it's like okay to be tired, you know? Like, people ask me to go places, and I say no, and they're like, what's wrong, Amber? You don't party? You don't party anymore? You ask my granny to go to the store, and she's like, I'm on oxygen. <laughs> do you want this to be the last thing I do? <laughs> I'm like, that's what I'm talking about. I, I want people to visit me, you know what I'm saying? My mom came to visit me recently, uh, and she's a cool lady, but she watches way too much murder television. Right? right? You're excited. <laughs> She does, man. I was wearing this cool little 70s outfit. I was like, what do you think, Mom? She was like, Ted Bundy would have definitely murdered you. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you couldn't think of any other way to give that compliment <laughs> like, at all? Women, we do love murder, though. We love watching TV shows about it. We love podcasts about Hi, it. Yes, we have dish towels about it. <laughs> we love it. I think more women should be out in the street solving crime, you know? because we can jump to a conclusion like that, <laughs> right? Like, we might not find the guy who did the murder, but we'll definitely find something on his ass, you know? <laughs> and we're like, uh, listen, we got nine guys in the lineup. I'm like, okay, before I go in there, eight of them are creepy. Uh, you can just go ahead and lock them up. But they didn't do anything. Oh, mm, but didn't they? <laughs> didn't they? <laughs> That's maybe a little problem with, like, women's brains. While super smart, Things sometimes pop into our heads that we don't really like fact check. You know what I'm saying? We're just like, this sounds true, and I'm gonna get all my girls behind me on this one. Like my boyfriend won't do the laundry, and I'm like, who is she? <laughs> and where is she? We live in a studio. I'll find her. <laughs> no, men are cool. Men are doing this. Men are doing this really cool thing lately that I've noticed. Uh, we were like apologizing. That is really fun, isn't it? So, <laughs> sometimes there's a little bit of an overcorrection, though. Like, recently, I had a guy open the door for me, and uh, afterwards, he was like, I'm a good guy! <laughs> I was like, I don't, I don't really report back to anyone, so... <laughs> that's kind of just something you have to carry on by yourself. <laughs> Go get him, tiger! <laughs> oh, man, yeah, I, uh... I'm with a good guy. Anybody else in a good relationship? Woohoo! All right, okay, small claps, all right. <laughs> I'm with a good guy. I, I want to grow old with my boyfriend, man. He's awesome. Uh, mainly just because that's when public fighting becomes cute, you know? Like, you see a couple my age fighting in the street, and you're like, ugh, trash. <laughs> you see an old couple, and you're like, wow. <laughs> I just want someone to know me like that, man. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> recently uh, visited my dad's family, and um, I was hoping to learn a lot about my dad because my dad passed away when I was younger. So I'm like, man, I'm gonna get all these cool stories about him. But then when I got there, I realized that my entire dad's side of the family speaks in Southern idioms. So I have no idea what they said to me. Uh, <laughs> my aunt told one story that I thought was pretty important just based on facial expressions. She was like, um, no, when your dad was younger, uh, he found himself in a wet paper bag and went to Mississippi, came back, and cut a trail four corners pod. <laughs> I was like, my dad was Paul Bunyan? Like, <laughs> wait, you gotta give me more here, man. I don't understand. That's why I think everybody should just learn sign language, right? I feel like it would just be easier for everyone. Like, I recently picked up sign language just to effectively communicate with my boyfriend that I don't like the couple we're hanging out with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not picking up on the cues. Like, I only want to hang out with a couple if I'm promised that they're going to fight a little bit in front of us, you know? <laughs> I love the drama. Like, I don't want them to break up, but I want everybody to feel a little uncomfortable, right? That's what I like. I love public fighting. I do. I saw two Amish people fighting in the street the other day. I know. I thought they just got along. <laughs> Turns out 
they don't, uh, they were arguing about which direction to go. And finally, one of them was like, you know what? You go that way, I'll go this way, and we'll see what happens. That's insane, right? Because <laughs> it's not like they can text each other later and be like, sorry, I was being a bitch, meet me at Subway. They just never see each other again. <laughs> That's how I'm trying to handle my life, right? <laughs> All right, thank you guys. I'm going to watch you. You guys have been great. How do you feel about your set? I feel good. I had fun. I, it's it's so weird to like uh, it's like oh it's five minutes. Like I don't I don't know what five minutes is. Really? <laughs> do, you, do you do you sometimes do you have like do you feel like sometimes on stage you have like a like an internal watch that you feel or not? Yeah, uh, I feel like it's it's getting better for sure. Uh, I don't know. I feel like tonight it was just like a little weird because I. I saw the light and I was like, I, I don't know. It was just like a little. Oh, weird. where am I? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's just out your direction. I think it's I think it's getting sharper, but it's just like more practice. Uh, my question is is what's your what's your Ted Bundy joke? I have Ted Bundy, and then who else would he be murdered by? Which I don't think is a good question. <laughs> Which is a terrible question. Are you at Murderino? I guess is the question. Someone in the, someone in the crowd yelled something. You're like, oh, you said something about murder podcast. Oh, she shot at my favorite murder. I actually. You, are you actually like a big fan of those? Negative. You I actually aren't? don't like it, but people like get like, you know. Their click gets hard about it, so I like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do that happen a lot? Do you when you tell that joke, when you talk about that, do you do you like have all the time where people are like, oh, you're super into this after the show or like during your show? Is that? Um, no, they don't come up to me about it. Thank God. Um, <laughs> Not a good thing. <laughs> I want to talk about. about murder, you know, but uh, I do like a lot of women will be like, oh yeah, when I'm like, we love murder, and they're like, yes, we do. So. But you don't actually love murder. I don't love it. <laughs> you don't love it? <laughs> uh, no, man, it makes me sad. I Yeah, me too. I, to be honest, yeah, it's really <laughs> sad. I think it's weird that Netflix is like leaning into it so hard. I I, that is like the weirdest, that is, there's so many things inside that I don't understand. I feel like an old man right now, like, oh, I just don't understand things! I know, yeah. But the murder, the murder <laughs> show, the murder, like, obsession is like, what brought this on? What? Yeah, it's really... It's really weird. I think, uh, do you watch the, did you see the Degenerates at all? No, I thought you were going to say Digimon, and I was like, yes, I just watched Digimon Adventures, <laughs> Tamer yes, Try, did. and it was so good, thank you. <laughs> well, I was going to go off on a tangent uh, about this guy's joke, but... What's the joke? Um, well, I can't really remember. He was just talking about okay. how, like, uh, like, we sexualized him. You have that bit on Southern idioms. What does that idiom mean? The one that you say on stage? Because I've heard it twice now, and... Both times I'm like, what? What is that? Can, can you <laughs> translate that? Can you translate that idiom um, for us? What is it and then can you translate it? So it's actually, I feel like I'm giving away a little bit of a secret, but it's like... Ooh. <laughs> no. I'm like, uh, that's <laughs> No, it's like, uh, it's two that I've put together. Like, you know how they say uh, he couldn't find himself out of a wet paper bag? No, I've never heard that. Oh, so it's like a wet paper bag is very easy to tear. Okay. So it's kind of like they're dumb. Got you, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, cutting a trail four corners wide, I have no idea, dude. Okay, so we have to, okay. That is, okay, yeah. That's what she said, and I was like, what, I, what is it? Really? Oh, okay. yeah. Are there really any sad. other ones that you haven't fit into your set that you're, like, still perplexed by? Uh, not perplexed by. My mom says a lot that I, like, will find myself saying. And is your mom that. Southern? Oh, yeah. So, oh yeah, <laughs> you leaned in like, oh, she's very southern. Yeah, I mean, since moving here, I I thought I was southern too, but like since being removed from my family for a while, I'm like, oh shit, we're like perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Any other southern things that happen to you that are weird? Or... <laughs> yeah. Okay, break it down. Let's do a list. Let's do some top uh, five. Racism? <laughs> no, this, no. My my grandpa will call his wife like mom. You know. Really? Yeah. Is that a, is that more common practice than I think it is? I think so. We have, we have another person from Texas off camera yeah. and they're nodding their head aggressively. So mom? they just say like mom. Yeah, they're like casually. Yeah. Is that Amish bit that you ended with? Is that real or is that? Yes. That's a real thing. They were fighting saw? about which direction to go. They didn't actually end the fight like that. They just were like fighting. I get yeah. the last bit about how it ended, but yeah, they were totally fighting. I was like, this is insane. Because I really did. They, yeah. I thought they all got along. Which I thought probably... you guys just suppressed it and made it work. Exactly. That's fun. No, they were over it. <laughs> Good on people, Joe. All right. Oh, yeah. Great Thanks, interview. Man.